Welcome back, class. I'm Matt, your guide here on Y Caliber. We're playing Star Wars The Old Republic in the Shadow of Revan, and this guy is going to be pretty upset. I don't need you. Wrong direction entirely. You led me astray, game. I don't need to do a flashpoint at all. Um, okay. So let's get back over the main road, then. Ah, <sighs> alas. I should have known. We'll go and deal with that flashpoint after we've met up with Steel Jeek and talk to him about battling clay monsters and all that good stuff that Steel Jeek gets up to. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean you can just Google Steel Jeek and you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Also, you'll get to experience Jeek for the first time, so really, win-win, right? Nope. There we go. Take me to the road right now. And we are going to head straight over past these Corsair pirates and all their other shenanigans and all these dumb monkeys we had to chase for ages. You remember those days? Those days like two episodes ago? Maybe three? I've lost all track of time because that was a really dumb part of the quest. But it's okay. We're past the dumb stuff now, I think. Downstairs, I take it? Nope. Not downstairs at all. I was wrong. I acknowledge that now. It was not downstairs, but around this corner. Ah. Uh, you're looking well. We're now well. two meters inside an Umbaran jamming field. If I've pressed the right buttons, we should have adequate privacy. Where can I get that I jacket? I received your message for the Red Blade. Yes, perhaps a bit obvious, but I thought your pirate cover appropriate given the circumstances. Indeed. So how are the Sith treating you, Agent? Oh, but seriously, Still where can I get that jacket? An organization? Hmm. I didn't expect we'd ever meet again. I'm glad you called. I appreciate the sentiment. But I'm sure you understand if I'm not here to socialize. No! How are you even alive? As it turns out, there was concern that I had arranged for certain documents to be released in the event of my death. You totally had, Instead though. of execution, I was granted early retirement. Sounds very straightforward. Very. I assure you, however, I am no longer involved. I've come only to ask you a personal favor. Hmm. The Empire is surrounded by enemies. The Republic, now the Revanites. We need people like you. Not anymore. I've accepted my fate, save for some unfinished business. Shara Jen, the former Keeper and Watcher too. Oh, yeah? Gone. After the Star Cabal's disillusion, Shara was unwell. The damage to her brain from the Cabal's trap had been considerable. Yeah, I remember. I remember her medical droid. She had trouble speaking. Add to that her conditioning. She was programmed for loyalty, and we had her working a rogue operation. Must have been tough. That aggravated her existing cognitive and psychogenic trauma. She's fortunate she didn't become a vegetable. During Lord Malgus's uprising and the chaos that followed, she was unable to protect herself. What happened? She was captured by the Republic. I intend to free her. That's fair. Shara saved my life more than once. She was important to me. For a long time. I owe her this. As do I. I've made arrangements already. She was carbonite frozen and placed aboard a prison transport, which was then raided by pirates. And now the raiders have brought their cargo to Rishi. Precisely. The final step is to retrieve the body and erase all evidence. No one can know what happened. I intend to negotiate Shara's purchase from the Raiders. While I do, I need you to provide leverage and cover our trail. Hmm. Why not a clean sweep? 
Eliminate the raiders and take Shara. No negotiations, no witnesses. People would start asking why. The SIS would piece it together. This mission needs to be forgotten, not buried. Very well. What kind of leverage am I providing? To begin with, I suggest you slice the raiders' data banks and transmit their files to me. That should facilitate negotiations. Oh, all right. I'm sure they've made indiscretions we can use. And after that? You'll have the frequency to listen in. You know how this works. You'll find what I need. We can rendezvous here once I've acquired the Carbonite. All right. Let's bring Shara home. Fine. I don't mind rescuing Shara. She's a pretty good character, you know, all things considered. Do you require medical attention? I sure don't, buddy. But thanks for your concern. I really appreciate it. Does it still look as dumb as it did last time? Yep. Be well. Looks like that snake person from the G.I. Joe movie. Not the live action one, the cartoon. Alright. Where to for this operation? You're dead meat! Hmm? Oh, okay. You have fun there. Darth Galrak Kilganon. So. Is there a terminal right here? There's a terminal right here. I'm going into the meeting now. Keep moving, don't get caught, and delete all records of the raid on the prison transport. Any files yeah, yeah. that might provide leverage, send to me. Understood. Ah, you must be Trade Master Better Cabo. start the running! Media Consortium. Yes. And you are a little human who wishes to trade. I understand. You acquired items from the prison transport recently. I'd like to buy the lot. Sneaky, sneaky. Lemon cheeky. Alright, let's swing around back here. To the sketchy part of town. The warehouse docking area. Ah, we've got another terminal here. Why you want frozen prisoners? Republic Carbonite freezing units are superior to my clients. Keep the prisoners, I only want the boxes. Do we look like jailers? Then we'll bump the bodies ourselves. Just don't expect us to pay extra. Maybe we sell it all back to the Republic. Oh, I'm sure I can find a reason for you not to I'm done deleting everything, sending files shortly. Take this, ugly. Sending the file shortly indeed. Alright, next one along. Shouldn't be too difficult to get these taken care of. You know, with our cipher powers and all. There are those battling droids that were so misleading before. Oh, there's the crier droid. Sending now. Why should we not sell to the Republic? For one thing, I have files right here showing you destroyed a Republic transport last year. What? Video evidence from your own ship. Uh -oh. How do you get this? It fell into my hands. I'm sure there's more where that came from. You want some of this? Nice work, Minister. No, nothing? Alright, that's fine. I don't need any of your junk anyway. We'll just pop on down to the uh, next terminal, which we will also slice. Should just be... There we are. Happy little terminals getting sliced. Uploading files now. I see you've also had financial difficulty. You lie! Oh, I don't believe so. You've racked up quite a debt to some Trombotian pirates. Does your crew know you've been gambling? Maybe I make sure you don't tell. Well, maybe I can do you a favor. By the time we're finished here, your creditors will be gone. Not possible. Maybe I prefer you gone. I don't think that's going to happen. You've clearly been outsmarted. And outmaneuvered. At every turn. Oh. 
nearly went the wrong direction there. Alright, and up here should bring us close to... Nope, nope, nope. That's the one. Okay. My bad. In we go. Oh, hello. Special delivery? Absolute pleasure, I'm sure, for the both of us. Okay, former minister. Let's uh, let's catch up a little bit more and see if we can't. Who has Kai Sykes so <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty scary. Our imaginary gang that. Uh, sort of became not imaginary over the course of the over the course of the game here Oop. don't want to miss our turn off we could end up wasting valuable seconds valuable seconds indeed uh, somewhere just around this corner here, as I recall. Here we are. All right, Minister, what do you got for us? That looks How are you like. How feeling? I've been thawed from carbonite, pierced by twenty-five needles, and injected with something I can only describe as liquid humiliation. So good. I'm you're doing well. I'm all right. Did you tell me? I can see stars. Am I on a spaceship? Yes, you are. You're safe and you're going to be better soon. Don't condescend to me. My apologies. If you'll excuse me. Hold transmission, silence audio. You said we'd all meet back here. Yes, I lied. She's on her way to a private medical facility. I couldn't be sure you'd approve. Hmm. After everything we've been through, you'd still rather manipulate me than trust my judgment. It's nothing personal. My wife has the same complaint. Where is she going? Shara will be cared for in secret by a group of richly compensated medics and scientists. In a very slow and regrettably painful process, the damage to her brain will be repaired and her loyalty programming undone. You can do that? There are no guarantees. My people say it should be possible. When she is free, I have advised her not to rejoin the Empire's service and to make a life away from conflict. She's never had that chance before. Hmm. She always deserved better than what we could offer. On some level, I think she hated her programming. If I'd known she could be cured... She couldn't then. And I know. Talk to her if you like. Say your goodbyes. Watch her. Shara, do you recognize me? In Are you that concerned hat? about hibernation blindness or the brain damage? Of course I recognize you. The minister, former minister, says you helped me. I don't want to do this, Cypher. I don't want them to decondition me. <laughs> it's the conditioning talking. You and I both know why you're saying that. If you could want your freedom, the programming wouldn't be very effective. You're not wrong, it doesn't help very much. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you, Cypher. Everything else just got in the way, and I'm all right, I am. I just don't know who I'll be without. Hmm. You're the smartest person I've ever met, and you're very good at solving mysteries. I have every confidence you'll figure it out. Maybe, but I hate mysteries. That's why I'm you solve them here. so well. 
Stay and talk for a little while. Yada yada yada. I believe our business is done. I have a retirement to get back to, and while I don't expect we'll meet again, I believe I've said that before. Retired or not, you're going to watch over that woman. You'll see to it that she recovers, and you'll make sure no enemies find her after. She's going to live a very peaceful life. Yes, she will. But don't underestimate her either. There is one other thing, by the way. Oh, what now? I may be out of the game, but you're not. I hear rumors intelligence is on the verge of reforming at last. Darth Maul wants you as second in command to a Sith Lord. What Sith Lord? Those pieces are still being maneuvered. A new agency will need new personnel to replace those lost. I have files with potential recruits. Untraditional, but highly skilled. What kind of untraditional recruits? Military deserters, terrorist sympathizers, and Malgus's alien insurgents. All of them believers in a better empire. Hmm. I'm always glad to have resources. But I'm not making any decisions right now. Don't delay too long. I've heard rumors of new threats. But as I said, I'm out of the game and the files are yours. Watch for enemies within and without. Everything is on you now. And you know the stakes for civilization. Could I get the stakes for that jacket? It's, it's much nicer than what I've previously had. Why would I want another one of these? Why would I want two of the same awful jacket? I guess this one's better than the other one? But it would just be different mods, honestly. Okay. Looks like we're going to need to talk to Fraud Makura. So, let's go find him. I think we already found him, though, so we'll just... Uh, maybe stop by a vendor on the way, or... something? Let me think about it for a minute. Is this where we arrive? Yeah, that's where we arrive. So I'm able to go to my... Maybe if I pop over to my stronghold... No, wait, that won't work. How am I going to get back to Rishi? Because I don't have the option to store things in here. Like, I don't have stuff to place for storage. What is an armory monitor? Uh, I guess I can't place things today for some reason. Anyway, yeah, I can't actually drop anything in here, so that was a waste of everyone's time. Back to Rishi we go. Influence improves a combat's and companion's combat performance, which we like to see. So, uh, as I recall, he was just hanging out up here. 
But I should check if there's a mailbox somewhere. Not seeing one. Because apparently I've got mail, I'd like to see it. But, uh, that doesn't appear to be an option for us here. No mail for us. It's fine, I'll cry about it later. For now, we gotta focus on ensuring that we have the best possible result in this mission. They say it's a bootlegger's market, but no one's selling anything here. The only vendors are these, uh, mod vendors. And we don't need those. We do not need them. Oh, wait. There's mail. What do we got? Eloise Moru. Yeah, funny how indentured service works like that. Well, good on you, Eloise. But I'm not sticking around to pretend that we're a... Uh, a real group of pirates. So, sorry if that's what he was hoping for in the future, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to see what this gentleman wants in the next episode. So until then, all the best.